Hello and welcome to Garrock Farms. In this video, we're going to be moving some cattle through the yard here. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy. Hopefully, we keep them uh, controlled and contained, and nothing, uh, nothing gets too wild. This is our calf barn, so it's everything from weaned calves all the way to the uh, breeding side. Well, like we'll start here, like the small side. So our weaned calves will start out here, where we can watch them, and they're, they don't need as big of an area. As they grow, they'll get shuffled down. And then this is what we call our big side, in a sense. So there's six petitions in here. And right now we got two double petitions, so we actually only got to split into four pens from smallest to the largest. So now just yesterday with his other brother, we moved some calves around. We moved um, several of these larger ones out up with the bull that were ready to be bred. And I usually like to put them in with the bull when they're like 16 months. So between 16 and 17 months of age to get them bred so they would have their first calf, for instance, between 25 and 26 months of age. And that seems to be about right for us because we graze them and stuff. They don't grow always as fast. I like to see them mature up. Some guys will do it at, oh, they'll get them calving at 24 months, maybe even sooner than that, which it's how you feed them, you know, how, how fast they'll grow. But anyway, so we're going to move up some weed calves up here into this pen over here from our super hot. And then we have a new calf back there that needs to go into the super hot. And then there's another one that's still instead of bringing milk way down here it's closer to the barn we got this rope it's a nylon rope we got a, several of these make it into a halter well and it seems like if you put the halter on before you get them out of the pen because those calves are just gonna run anywhere and there's one thing i've noticed about baby calves or younger cattle especially they'll always run uphill they'll run uphill before they would run downhill if they have the choice i think it's just an instinct it's safer going up than down. But anyway, with the halter on, as long as you get a little control of the head, they're more likely to get them where you need them to go without too, more, too much of a circus. Now on these large farms, these guys will load them on trailers because their buildings are so far apart. And, you know, it just gets to be some extra, but we're only gonna move three. These calves were born right before we left to Arizona. And here's our Swiss. Guys, how big you got? How big she's got already. He's ready to jump right over this panel. Now the interesting thing is our panels are still froze down. This one we've got to be able to break loose. Some of them are froze down. We might have to get in here and help me and scoot her right over to that top so we until things thaw out. We're gonna do that. It's kind of a trick to this. It's almost like driving a horse. They they don't run backwards. And as long as I kind of steer the head in the direction I want this calf to go, I just kind of keep pushing. And uh, eh, once in a while it doesn't work, but for the most part it works pretty good. So, you know, it wants to go that way. So. But if there's two of us, yeah, one guy's pulling, one guy's pushing. And then these guys, they pretty much want to go backward then. And there's always two handles on the calf. You got the. You got the head and then sometimes the tail for a little bit of control. So in here they'll have water. They'll be able to drink water whenever they want instead of us bringing it to them, especially when it's so cold out yet. And then we just give them a lot of extra grain. It's amazing how when you stop feeding these calves milk, how much more grain they'll eat. They'll nibble at their grain otherwise, but they'll really go for that hay in this grain. been a good winter for the calves. We'll get her done. And this one we can break the, this one's a little heavier calf. Yeah. We'll probably be able to bend it at least here. Yeah, maybe we can. Well, with a little help, it ain't so bad getting them over the top. They'll jump out for me. I've had them where they get so excited, they jump out. We've had some city kids come out here and they wanted to help, so I said, you're gonna move those two calves. 
It's kind of entertaining watching somebody that throws a little cat or chase them around the yard before they finally figure out they're not going to catch them. We've done this a few times. So. To the huts there that were still moving. Now this girl, is due here about five days, but just looking at her, I'm gonna guess she's gonna have a bull calf. It's gonna be late. Making room for her calf too. So if we'll have one empty stall up. I'm not really too crazy about coming all the way down here with milk every day. And trying to climb over gates and not spill it. So what we do here. do up here. If these guys aren't in here, we're just gonna give these other two this whole area. I had this one mixed with these just for one day. And it just didn't work. Because these two drink a lot faster than that one with the jacket on. And then you're trying to make sure these don't drink her milk. So need to separate things a little bit just to make it easier. So anyway, you guys got a bigger pen? Now the bigger one we're going to put the halter on, but the smaller one I can, or you can carry. So she lost her strap here in the, when she was in the dry cow pen, found it laying in the manger. Since we got a little help here, we're going to get that back on you. Now come on, she's had a couple calves already. She's pregnant with her third calf, so she knows the program. Try to put the new straps on the heifers and some of the older straps are not so bad on an old car. I'm gonna watch the gate here while he catches that other one. He's gonna carry that younger one. This one here isn't quite weaned yet, but I think it'll just be easier to care for for the next week or two when we have it up there. Put a jacket on that younger one. Probably bed them up too, huh? We'll give them a little fresh straw and switch up their green. I bought these maybe like 10 or 12 years ago. I never really, when we were kids, I never even knew there was such a thing. And they got these clips where they go around the legs and then you can adjust them a little bit for a smaller or larger calf. And then you got Velcro around the neck. And I like them, it makes a world of difference. It helps anytime it's below 50 degrees and it's about to warm up here maybe in a few days. But this being that this one's gonna be new to outside. And then after a week or so, we might have to adjust it a little bit unless they start growing. Or maybe take it right off if it gets warm enough. Well, then once the winter's done, I think I got seven or eight jackets. So when the winter's done, we'll put these in the wash machine and wash them, and I'll put them in a cupboard. Because the mistake guys make, they'll leave them someplace in their calf barn all balled up, and the mice move in and chew them all up. Nobody looks at that stuff until until the next year find out they're no good anymore. He's gonna grab some fresh grain for him and I'm gonna grab a bunch of bedding. We're gonna doctor it up all nice in there for him, their new home. So what I do is, this is our cob corn mix and then there's some calf starter there. Same here, so. They kind of got the choice because I've noticed they actually go more for our cob corn mix than they do the calf starter. So anything to get them eating more, some dry hay. They really don't necessarily recommend a lot when they're quite young, but I always like to offer them some and something with some grass in it. Got real leafy. Because the thing is you want to do is you want to get these calves on grain as quick as possible. They're still on milk, but you need to get them so that their rumens start to work. 
and it's gonna take grain and let's see he's coming around with some straw and we're gonna have to get these cows in i can see they're eager to go back in a little colder today i mean the sun is nice but it's still pretty cold for march young calves moved we got uh, the calves we brought up here settled into their new home got them some bedding some grain now we got to move a cow from the, the dry cow pen to the for this door just shut the door for now we got moved from outside here so We got one over there that needs to come with the bull. She's of age, I guess you could say. And it's it's easier to make that happen when you don't have a whole group on each side trying to. Now her, this is the cow I just dried up and she's mad because she can't be with the herd she was with. And she'll get over it. She's been through this before, it's nothing new. She's actually, I think, got it better out here, but. So just stay there, uh, control the gate from the, towards the inside. This number 12. Yep, come on. Yep. Come on, babe. All right. There we go. That can be a real challenge when you're yourself. Because trying not to let other animals get mixed up. So what this is, is the bull's got a new girlfriend to add to his harem here. And I would have to believe that all these are pregnant, except that one we just put here. He's kind of throwing his weight around a little bit. You know, always watch your back with these things. Sometimes think the tamest bull is the most dangerous. You never make friends with the bull. You ignore him. You move him with groups of cattle. And you never turn your back 100%. So. Because I've heard some stories where they've done some bad things, but we've had bulls our whole life here and just got to kind of let him know that he, we're leaving him alone and he's going to take care of his part. it for moving cattle around i hope you guys enjoyed the video it went really well when it comes to moving cattle taking your time being patient and calm is a good thing uh, it prevents anything from getting hurt or anything getting too crazy or wild and getting away on you it's always better to just take your time so anyways thank you all for watching and make sure to check out our other videos